Hi everyone, this is Jason Paul Peterson. In this piano tutorial, we're going to learn how to play Sia's hit song, Snowman. Now, if you'd like to follow along with the sheet music as I play, or if you don't read sheet music yet and would love to learn how step-by-step, -step, check out petersonpianoacademy.com. You'll find a comprehensive piano course there and hundreds of videos on piano technique, as well as tutorials. Let's go ahead and dive in. Let's start with the right hand by itself. And that's the end of the first verse. There are two verses in the song. If you want to play the second verse, all you do is repeat from there and go back to the beginning and play it again. Now let's go to the left hand and take a look at the left hand by itself from the beginning. Here we go. Okay, now remember if you're having any trouble with that, you can always slow down the video on YouTube and play it at half speed or even quarter speed. Um, that's a great way to really get the notes down and be sure that you're using the right fingerings as well. So once you've got each hand mastered, you want to 
go ahead and start trying it with both hands together and that's what we're going to do now. So here we go, the exact same thing as I've just played. The right hand stays the same, the left hand stays the same, but we're going to play both of them now at the same time. And remember, we'll talk a bit more about this at the end, but it, as much as you can, try and keep the right hand in the foreground and the left hand more in the background because the right hand has the melody and the left hand has the accompaniment. So here we go. And at this point, if I wanted to repeat, I could just start again from the beginning uh, and play the second verse. Let's talk just about a couple things, a couple tips, sort of pro tips to help you make this piece sound even better. Number one is the pedaling. Now, basically in this piece, the chord changes uh, occur once per measure, which, mean, which means if you lift up the pedal at the beginning of each measure and put it back down again, that's every six eighth notes in the left hand. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Always on the first one or where the chord changes, I'm lifting the pedal up like this, up. Lift and put it right back down. Lift and back down. Lift and back down. And be sure you're lifting the pedal all the way up so that the notes really have time to clear. That's important in giving you a good sound. And another thing that I want to talk about really quick, quickly is the balance between the tones in the right and the left hand. Now, as I already mentioned, we really want to keep the right hand in the foreground and keep the left hand in the background because the right hand has the melody. Uh, but another thing to think about is in the left hand, being sure that all the notes are not equally loud or equally soft, but to create this sort of feel of the 6-8 time. We have a 6-8 time, uh, time signature in this piece. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And so we need to have that sort of emphasis when we play the piece. The bass notes, the lowest ones, we can emphasize. We should emphasize. And the ones after that should be somewhat less strong. One, two, three, four, five, six. So emphasize, make the next ones less. Emphasize, make the next ones much softer. And you put that all together and you have something like this. Now just to compare, what a lot of beginners will do is sort of play everything with, these, with the same dynamic level. It'll sound like this. As you notice, that doesn't sound too great. It tends to make everything sound real heavy, and so you want to avoid that. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and remember, if you'd like to follow along with the sheet music, or if you're looking for a comprehensive piano course, which will really teach you 
all the basics of piano playing as well as uh, note reading, check out petersonpianoacademy.com. See you soon.